in experiments. Number 24, you're going to do a titration. In fact, you're going to do a couple titrations. The first one is about figuring out the concentration of an unknown uh, solution of sodium hydroxide. You won't know it. We're going to try to figure out the concentration. This is a Florence flask. And so you're going to make your own solution following the directions in the lab book. And this will be used to fill up this burette here. In this other burette, you're going to have hydrochloric acid. You're going to know the concentration, the molarity in moles per liter, and you're going to dispense out a known amount of it into an Elamaya flask. Okay, somewhere around 25 milliliters, but measure the volume precisely. So you're going to know the volume and the molarity. In the second burette, in the second burette, you're going to have sodium hydroxide, the unknown solution. In this one, you're going to uh, put some phenolphthalein in here so that the, at the end point it will turn pink as it becomes basic because you're going to start putting in sodium hydroxide and you're going to put it in a known volume until it hits the end point and turns pink and then you know you're done and at the end point you'll have the exact same number of moles in the flask here of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide so you'll know the molarity and volume from HCl and you'll know the volume here and you'll solve for the molarity and you'll be able to figure out the concentration of sodium hydroxide. So you're going to know that now. That's called standardization. Now this is standardized and we're going to use that for part two. In part two of the experiment for Monday, you're going to use your new uh, standardized sodium hydroxide solution. Actually, you're just going to maintain it in this burette. We know the molarity. Hint, hint, don't throw this out. Since we know the molarity, we can now use it in a titration on an unknown acid. You'll be given an unknown acid as a solid powder that you'll weigh out and you'll add it into an Erlenmeyer flask. Mix it to dissolve with some deionized water. Add in some phenolphthalein, about three drops, and then titrate to the end point when it turns pink. At that point, you'll know the molarity of sodium hydroxide. You'll know the volume that you've dispensed in, so you'll know the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that went in there. Now, if we were to figure out uh, something about the acid, we know how much we have weighed out grams of the acid. The number of moles of acid in here are equal to the moles of acid in the burette, or actually in the solution that we dispense. So if we know the grams of the acid, that were weighed out, and we know the moles because it's equal to the moles of sodium hydroxide. You can figure out the molar mass by doing the grams divided by moles. And that'll be part two of the lab.